Hey, what's up everybody? Commander Radix here bringing you another episode of Transformers Lore. It has been 50,000 years since I last gave that intro. And today's Transformers Lore episode is going to be a little bit of a mix between Transformers Lore and Transformers More Lore, my series where I answer your questions about the Transformers Lore, uh, the Transformers Multiverse, as it were, because the topic of this video was inspired by a question I got on a More Lore video, the most recent More Lore video, actually. The question comes from Patroclus Iliad 233. Here's a question. One thing I had always found interesting about the Transformers Afterlife, it could, or used to be, easily explained by sci-fi concepts. Primus was the Allspark, the Allspark was Primus. All sparks came from it and went from it, but the amalgamated consciousness of it, of it that preceded the Cybertronian race basically identified itself as Primus. In effect, pre-Shroud Primus was a higher dimensional energy field, a dimension of its own, permeating various other universes resulting in the Transformers. Now, now how do they explain the Allspark dimension? Are they all still linked, or is it one glob of Allspark essence per universe? And I want to answer that question, but also deal with some sort of preconceptions there that, um... Just, I guess, a few corrections, if you use that word. So that, that the Transformers Afterlife could be used to explain by sci-fi concepts. I'm not entirely sure what you mean by sci-fi here. If you mean scientific, then absolutely not. There is not a scientific shred of anything revolving uh, the Transformers Afterlife. And as for Primus being the Allspark, um, the Allspark being the realm, we're not talking about the cube, right? We're talking, or the well of Allsparks, we're talking about the Allspark realm, right? The afterlife. Being Primus itself, that also is not technically fully accurate. It's not accurate to say that when all the sparks are together, the one group collective consciousness would be Primus's consciousness. That is not the case. Primus, from his very inception, has been a type of god figure in the Transformers multiverse. A person, right, with an identity separate from the rest of the consciousnesses of the Transformers. He originated as an astral being that was split from Unicron by the One, and has his own key identity. So it wouldn't be accurate to call Primus pre-Shroud as a higher dimensional energy field, because an energy field does not have agency, nor does it have a personage, a persona, like Primus does. Primus is his own person, and he has his own agency. Now, the Allspark is a sort of dimensional field. Well, hmm. The Allspark is a realm, as it were. It is separate from our realm. Um, in order to access it, you have to do a bunch of mystical things. For example, when in Beast Wars, Rhinox accessed the Matrix through... Or accessed the, uh, the Allspark through the Matrix itself, right? My monitor just died. Hold on. Okay, hopefully that didn't mess with my recording too much. So the Allspark as a realm does exist inside of Primus, you know, metaphysically. And how to explain that? Uh, we're dealing with astral beings, beings that don't exist necessarily in the material realm. They do, but that's not where they only exist. They do exist on the astral plane to some extent. So we're not going to find like, oh, if I cut open Cybertron, where is the, which is Primus's body, where is the, the Allspark, right? We're not going to find that, right? But one thing I wanted to comment on is that the Allspark being within Primus, and the Allspark we can also say the Matrix in an abstract sense, is actually very similar, it's sort of fractal, with Primus's creator, that is, the One. So the One, if you don't know, I've done videos on the One before, but the One is basically the consciousness, the cosmic consciousness that existed at the Big Bang, at the beginning of time, at the beginning of reality, and it sort of popped up as the universe came to being. And the One was like, whoa. This is kind of crazy, dog. And it sent out Unicron to explore. Unicron started to destroy, so the one split Unicron and Primus in two. And it told Primus, hey, you have to balance out Unicron. You have to stop Unicron, actually. He wanted Primus to balance it out, um, but what he told Primus is you have to defeat Unicron, which would then create that balance. Now, Primus created a few creations called the Light Gods, and for a while he wasn't that interested in actually engaging in Unicron until Unicron and his Dark Gods destroyed the Light Gods, right? Primus lost all his creations, all his friends, right? 
but the one informed Primus that their souls, right as it were, were not extinguished, that they still existed inside something called the Omniversal Matrix. And the Omniversal Matrix exists inside the One. It is where the deceased souls that were created by the One go back to, right? And implied to be the source where every soul seems to go back. Even though the One isn't really directly associated with creation of life itself in the universe or the multiverse, um, there does seem to be a connection between souls of other living creatures and the One. And Primus, as a creation of the One, seems to reflect this in and of himself with the Allspark. And ultimately, when we say, till all are one in Transformers, that means a few different things. It can mean when all Transformers are one in the Allspark, right, in the Afterspark, in the Afterlife, in Primus, or it can also mean when every living thing is in the One, in the Omniversal Matrix. Now, do humans in the Transformers multiverse go to the Omniversal Matrix or even the Allspark? Maybe. Here's the thing. In the IDW comics, which starts off as part of the multiverse, but then sort of continues after the Shroud, in Transformers Unicron, we see the G.I. Joe member Mainframe die. Spoilers. However, we also see Mainframe in the afterlife, and he is a human, and it's displayed, I think, by Soundwave? But it's showing to Shockwave all the people who have died, and it includes Mainframe in it, it includes a human. Which could suggest that the Allspark is there and it's also somehow connected to the Omniversal Matrix where Primus wishes to go one day, to be reunited with his friends, the Light Gods. It's very mysterious, no Transformers fiction really goes into absolute detail about how the Allspark works. We have a lot of stories set there, we see that uh, there's a lot of different ways that it portrays itself, whether it be in this sort of abstract computer consciousness like in Beast Wars, um, a paradise realm, sort of, that's also metaphysical in the IDW comics. We see that there are realms inside the Allspark. For example, the realm of the Primes exists within the Allspark. And so if the realm of the Primes exists within the Allspark, is it that big of a stretch to say the Allspark could, in fact, exist within the Omniversal Matrix? We also have weird realms like Gen 1. And in Gen 1, you have G1 characters from the US G1 cartoon that are sort of in this, you know, their own little realm to themselves. And it's a realm that you can kind of physically visit. There is a physical manifestation of that on Cybertron itself, which is kind of interesting. But yeah, the metaphysics of the Allspark and the Omniversal Matrix are kind of mysterious. But Primus's grand plan involves finally defeating Unicron so that he himself can enter into the Omniversal Matrix which is something that never happened in the Transformers multiverse fiction before the multiverse ended, so. I love discontinued series and discontinued concepts. It's my favorite gender. Anyway, that wraps up this video on the Omniversal Matrix, a very mysterious concept in Transformers lore that can lead to some thinking, right? How exactly does the metaphysics of the Transformers world work, right? And it's kind of mysterious in a way. Some is explained, but some is not explained, right? Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please consider subscribing to the channel if you have not yet. Follow me on social media, especially my Twitter and Discord server. Um, and subscribe to the channel for more Transformers and history videos, right? We're really getting into history and mythology videos, right? If you like this kind of stuff, this abstract metaphysics and the gods and stuff, why not consider taking it out of the realm of fiction and look at what our ancestors actually believed, right? We have more mythology videos from actual mythology coming up on the channel. For example, if you're into Japanese mythology, we have a Japanese video on uh, the Shinto creation myth um, that I will put the link in the description to. But anyway, thank you all so much for watching and have a great day, ladies and gentlemen.